Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff <laughs> basically is riding this guy's Aldrin ass. Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous Thomas writer, Zane, don't I? I yeah. Read a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the I was sitting there, I was like, yeah, there's a couple of books of his I got. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come on, mister, I'll take you to Rose's trailer. You're gonna explain to me what the fuck that is? We're just gonna ignore the fucking giant boat that's just all fucked up. Alright, cool. <coughs> the fuck better. is that noise? A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. You okay, Barry? <laughs> I get that you're trying to talk to me, but man, the passive aggressism is fucking strong with you. You know, for a trailer park, it don't this look that bad. Trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Barry, word of, word of advice. If you're going to tell me all this, like, shady shit about the townsfolk, maybe you shouldn't talk about it in front of the fucking townsfolk. Just going to say, you know, kind of crazy. Like, I mean, the guy, like, the guy's like, hey, can I just ask what you want with her? Because two fucking outsiders show up and you're talking nonsense about the whole town. And now you're saying you want to go talk to this girl that I perceive to be a pretty nice lady. She's right there. You didn't, like, she was standing right there. Welcome to 
to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey man, if you were worried about her, shouldn't you like not leave the area? Hey, this is really good. There's poison in it. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Barry, stop drinking uh, the coffee. Hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Al, you're a writer, right? So shouldn't you pick up on, like, small things, especially when someone's not acting right? How monotoned her voice is compared to, like, how she first met you? Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. This is like if you misery went supernatural. <laughs> you must keep writing. Back to work, boy. Where the fuck am I? I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Okay, well, don't listen to she that version of me. I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I'm sorry, my brain's like racing because, you know, I, li I like to think about the story before it gets to the end. Is it possible that all right i'm gonna say i'm gonna say we're in the the book the universe of the book that's being written right now by the real alan wake through some magic bullshit whether it's some weird soul transfer shit or something like that like my real consciousness is in the book or whatever i don't know but is it possible that we made it to the town and then in the real world we went and got admitted into the place with the uh with the doctor who said he can help out artists and you know and that in turn led us to here right is that where the real alan wake is like in the mental hospital writing shit Rose took a day for me i had less than not mental hospital but you know what i mean kidnapper. all i could do was get barry into the car work something out once i got on the road hey girl that coffee was really good i'm just gonna take some more all right Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Don't worry, I already I helped myself. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Damn girl, I got you bad, Barry didn't was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Barry was a fat fuck, and I couldn't carry him. You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. All right, good to know that you're all right, Barry. I'll just leave you in here. Uh, is there a light switch? I can't. Well, you guys are in the light, but like, wish there was a stronger light source I can like put in here for you. A whole fucking day passed, by the way. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. 
how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer, but those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Is the sheriff going to show up while I'm out? Alright, let's hear it. Um. Let's hear it. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out of the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Yeah, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? The turn? Alright, that's a fun music choice. <laughs> what the fuck? This shit got creepy. Alright, uh Yeah, do something in the air tonight. I think I didn't get I didn't get bite by a zombie man, but you know, I, I think I'm gonna turn. I think I'm gonna turn Walt. <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn. It's getting to me. Take a quick gander around, you know? Not really much I can do. Ooh, maybe the coffee... Oh, shit. Maybe the coffee does actually help me with stamina. Fuck, that was the longest you've ever... Holy shit. Now I'm definitely gonna keep looking for that coffee. You can't stop me now. I'm keep looking for it now. If I can run that long now? Holy shit. What do you mean I'm gonna God get it? Knows what you've done to that poor girl. I didn't do shit. Agent Nightingale, FBI, get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Whoa. What the fuck? What just happened? <laughs> what? I had to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Ah oh, shit! Now I gotta play fucking hide and seek. Good thing I can run now, bitch. I'm out of here. 
Fucking fast as shit. I'm out of breath now. But hey, that was the furthest I ever ran in my goddamn life. I really hope I'm not missing out any pages or coffee. There who is? There ain't nobody is. You better fuck it. Oh, oh! The light's my enemy now. Ah! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, shit! Oh, damn. Really? The one time I don't want like Fuck! I'm only human after all. Don't put the blame on me. He slipped away. That man's like a human noodle. Get up there, Wake. It's Paige. Damn it, I keep pressing the X button. For decades. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Hmm. All right, got some sort of like lock and key situation going on here. Feels like I don't know what's behind me, but fuck what's behind me. What the hell's in front of me? I can grab the radio and be like, I'm a writer, damn it! Over. Save me, Sheriff. <laughs> Save me. Maybe armed? I don't got a gun, dickhead. I don't even got a flashlight. Flare. Search the area. Search the area of my ass. Get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, the darkness is coming. They're gonna get fucked up by the darkness. Yup. Don't this fall. horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Some may say a writer is a monster. Isn't that right, J.K. Rowling? Bada bing, bada boom, ha <laughs> ha, bing bang, fuck your life. Bing bong. He's a fucking nerd. <laughs> You're telling me my officers got taken up by a fucking loser? He wears a tweed jacket. <laughs> Damn, Sheriff. All right, fuck. She said, have you seen the guy? He's like a noodle. 
<laughs> Look at me. I got no bones. <laughs> All right. Hi, officer. I'm unarmed. You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's uh, nowhere to run. Freeze. Yeah, I refuse to. I'm, I'm behind this rock. What you gonna do? Oh, the crows! They're coming. Thanks, Itachi. Exactly what I need. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Nobody can act like the town's normal after this night, right? It's a fucking war out here. Am I making my way to the fucking... There's no way I'm making my way to the radio station. I'm gonna get that fucking dude on the radio killed. Sure, why not? I'll check it out. Crash and burn, bitch? Yeah, that's as far as I can zoom in. Anywhere else to look? Am I gonna get fucking jump scared? Looks like a giant light over there. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in on this again just to get like a better look. Are those tracks? Hmm. All right. Uh, this is James, Mulligan, Thornton, come in, over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they were hey, what are you? Come on. Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here, over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan, over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. The fuck uh, you talking about? I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get I want my bad. Did he say the fed or did he say the writer? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All we gonna out. Wow. So what? The Fed's like on crack or some shit? I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Now what the fuck's I can going see the on there? The radio station in the distance. Is that the radio station, or is? Oh, and there's the radio station. I'm assuming that's the radio station. It's a big ass tower, right? All right. Now I got some more coffee. I can run longer. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's making me run longer. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. My guy, you're gonna get that guy fucking killed. It's gonna get broadcasted all over the radio. This town ain't gonna be the same. Unnatural right. shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. That's why I'm about to sick the bat symbol on your ass. After I drink this coffee. Glug glug. I 
I've been prioritizing running away from the police, so I haven't really been looking for uh, manuscripts or anything. Uh, the old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Kick that bitch. Ugh. Get back in place. I'm assuming the police is gonna die in front of me, I'm just gonna take his gun. And they're gonna be like, what are you doing with his gun? If you didn't kill that guy. And I'm gonna sit there and bumble around like the writer I am, be like, I don't, he died in front of me. Ah, yes, my trusted flashlight. Burn, bitch. I'm gonna get the other one just in case. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. You're damn right they were. Uh, breaker, breaker, niner, niner. They seem to be dead. Come in. I need a report. Over. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. Is she gonna? All right. I guess that's it. Better not be any fucking bear traps in here. I swear. Burn, bitch. I'm fast as fuck. You're never gonna catch me no more. Ah, oh, fuck. Why'd I run out of breath? What happened to all that coffee I was drinking? Ah, oh, fuck. Is that a fucking bear trap down there? It's Bob and Weave, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Yes, sir, from like a gun. You sound serious, Pat. You certainly don't sound like no party going on. They're popping off. The folks want to pop off, then pop off. Got some batteries. Manuscript. Oh yeah. Time to nerd it up. What? Burn bitches! Bada bing, bada boom, bing bang. Oh! Where'd the other one go? dark presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, 
She was screaming in terror. Yeah. Poor Rose. She was just a fan. Never gonna get the fuck out of here, though. Oh, yep, here they come. Fuck, stick to the path. I don't have any good way of defending myself. Dodge! Bitches! Mind your own business. I love how sprinting makes me slower than than like actually walking or jogging or whatever it is I do. Oh, this is where you guys got fucked up. Oh, fuck. I went off the path. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, that dude was right next to me. Fuck. Just keep running, you fucking nerd. Find a way out. find the path again, maybe. It's pretty bright over here. Well, it's brighter. Oh, shit. That wasn't close enough. Or was it? You stay over there. Stay over there. Stay... Threw a flash on the ground. What happened? Oh my god, I'm out of flashes. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I just open it? Damn it. That dodge is so fucking unreliable. <laughs> I have eight flashes. Man, that was a pain in the ass, huh? Thought I saw something on the ground. Alright. I'm gonna have to pick up that manuscript again, but... I'm gonna make a fucking mad dash for it. Alright, let's get going. Start running, madman. Oh my god. Why do I lose the ability to run when shit's going down? Am I still being chased? Music's still going. Fuck, I'm getting shit thrown at me. I got four left. Just keep going. fuck out of here. Oh wait, hold up. I just want to see if there's like any other extra things laying around before I walk through there. All right. Boom. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. What the fuck? Well, let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. 
Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Wow, Lorna, you're fucking, you're a bitch. Ah, oh, the beautiful light. Let it shine on me. This little light of mine. Or oh, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Or oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Script? Nope. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake. Don't say that on the radio, motherfucker. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. My name's Alan Wake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here. Right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Oh, shit. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. That guy's not a civilian. He's taken over by the, by the darkness. I'm not a racist. I had off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Nah, dude, I saw his eyes change. Like it was a fucking demon out of Supernatural. They got him. They got the radio, man. I don't have any, uh... Oh, I do have flashbangs left, so I'm gonna use those instead. Ah, oh, shit. Burn, bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, fuck. Wrong button. Ah, fucking gun, finally. Holy shit. Dude, I just stepped out of the light. Fuck out of here. It's all about survival now. Was kind of hoping there'd be like a chest over here in the corner somewhere. Could use uh, some ammo, flare gun, a shotgun, or a rifle. No rifle. No rifle's better. Rifle's better in this game. I'm sorry, you get more bullets. Well, you get more rounds in a you know in a clip. So I'm not a gun guy. Okay, listen, I, I play video games. Don't ask me. I'm a writer. 
Stop asking me questions. What do you expect? I'm a writer. Oh, now you can run this long uphill. But when you're getting chased by everything and everyone, you can't run for shit. Look at how long you're running, buddy. See, you can do it, Alan. But when shit hits the fan, you can't run for jack shit. I don't get it. Don't tell me I gotta climb the fucking radio tower. What what good is that gonna serve me? Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Hmm. Yeah, he was attacked by a shadow monster. I'm alternating between shadow monster, ghost, and demons. Not in terms of what they actually are, just, just calling them that, you know? They're all the same in my head. Little spooky man walking around. The fuck was the point of me coming up here? Uh, is there like, what the fuck was the point of me coming up here? All right, guess I'll just go down, I guess. I don't, was I supposed to come this way? Dude, there's no fucking way there's, like, nothing for me to do up here. You serious? Like, there's no ladder or stairs or anything? Just come up here for shits and giggles? So what, I gotta walk my ass all the fuck the way down again? If I'm not supposed to be up here, then where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't... I don't have a map, right? Yeah, I don't have a map, so... Ah, oh, you bitches! I was supposed to come up here! You know what you did. You know what you're doing. Burn! Lying rats. You coming back down for me, or...? Am I good? Alright. No. Birds want to fucking act smart. Right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. See, now you can't run for shit, dude. You're being chased by birds. Demon birds. And some Jack and Daxter ass music is playing, man. Coming for me. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Like, I get that I have the uh, flares, but I kind of want to save that for something other than birds. It's a big ass light shining over there. Where you at? Oh my god, now I'm gonna be attacked again in the fucking shadows. Or was I supposed to go this way? Am I still being chased? Of course I am. Bitch! Two shots on me. Not really there good. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Great. The darkness controls the taken. Yeah, I know that. Oh fuck. Burn, bitches! Does the flare not work if it's not in my hand? Oh my god, there's so fucking many of you. Stay the fuck away from me. Oh my god. There's too many. Fuck. It also doesn't help that I can only take like three fucking hits, man. Is there another one out here? Because I need this. Can't really ignore it. I need it. Oh, fuck. Hi, camera. You're not really helping out here. How many fucking shots do you take? Holy shit, dude.